Welcome to MJ's Art Talk. We actually have Stephen Winter I, on the phone. Oh, do we? Good, good. <laughs> yes, That's we really do. good timing, by the way. Would, okay, uh, cool. would you right. like to take a call from him and have Let's him take, tell Yeah, us? absolutely. Okay. And I think we have John Cameron Mitchell also. Okay. Uh, possibly. Stephen, are you there? I'm here. Oh, wonderful. Where are you calling in from? On my cell phone in the East Village of New York City. Wow, thank you so much for taking time out of your coffee day in order to talk to us here in Houston. We're actually having a surprise birthday party for the producer of John Cameron Mitchell's new movie. Oh, is that right? And he was very surprised, so it's a very good evening for us. Awesome. Well, we are talking with Jonathan here in Houston on a program about distribution and what it takes to go from the indie filmmaker dream of going into a, a, film, a film festival. And Jonathan was just explaining you were actually one of the, the catalysts that, that got him into the major film festivals. What was, what was it that you saw in Tarnation that made you grab up Tarnation? Well, you know, I, I spent the 12 years in New York. Um, working in film in various capacities, the writer, director, producer. I had worked in film festivals, and I'd seen a lot of movies, all different kinds, shapes, and sizes. And never in all those films had I ever seen anything like Tarnation. Was, um, was, there, was there ever a moment where you thought there was a risk you were taking, a, a huge oh, risk? So it was so ridiculously risky. Yes. It was absolutely impossible. We were yes. Thinking of, it, it, I looked at it and I knew, like, this is impossible. There is absolutely no way that I could help this guy, who I don't know, had never met, clear all this music, clear all these clips, um, bring the film to um, a two and a half hour cut to a 90 minute cut, and then make it something that could be sellable in the commercial market. Because, but I knew I had to because there was something sacred about it, you know? Sure, sure. Oh, no. I think the tremendous success has, has definitely proven the market is there for it. It's just, here you are sitting here thinking, you know, you've got a proven product, and then you've got Jonathan Coet. Who the heck is this? And you well, went... I, I had a... It was so crazy that I knew it had to work. And I knew is that it right? would not rest until it was done. And then within five minutes of meeting Jonathan, I... I was like, he's a perfect partner for this because he knows it's so crazy that it's my work too. So awesome! Are you with John Cameron Mitchell right now? Um, he's in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go get him! <laughs> you want to go get him and have him and have him put his two cents in here? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay, well, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm go I'm going back here in June, by the way. Incredible. So this is John Cameron Mitchell. For you, those of you who don't know, he did Hedgewick and the Angry Inch, which is this awesome art film that... I am the phone to John here, Cameron Mitchell. Here he is. Actor, director, producer, and naked filmmaker. <gasps> naked filmmaker? my mother Give it up for John Cameron Mitchell. John Cameron Mitchell. Yay! Hi, John Cameron Mitchell. This is MJ Hancock in Houston. Hi, how are you? I am fantastic. I'm sitting next to Jonathan Coet, oh. and we are doing a live, <laughs> a live show, and we are talking to him about what it was like for him to go from unknown artist into this huge spotlight. And what I really want to know out of you is, why did you put your name on as executive producer? What did you see in this? Um, I saw money. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't in the making, I saw a genius in his life, and I was completely inspired by him. To, I always say that he's somebody who I always think about whenever I need to be inspired, because what he's been through and how much talent and love and sweetness he's got in him that will last him a lifetime. So he is my hero. Awesome, awesome. You want to say anything to him? You're my hero too, John. I love you, John. Uh, honey, yeah. I love you. And we love and best of, uh. Hedwig and the Angry Ants. And John is working on his new film. Do you want to tell? Do you want to tell him about your new film, John? It's amazing. Yeah, my new film is called Short Bus, and we're about to shoot next month. And uh, we're outside a bar. I should be working. I know. But uh, uh, it's all about love and sex in New York. Awesome. Sounds fantastic. Another, another big fat shadow of Bush. Say the name again. Short Bus. You know, like the special ed bus, the yeah. short bus. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. The, I got it. The, the and the gifted. We are looking forward to it because you are incredibly gifted. Thank you for calling in tonight. Anything no, else, John? Thank you. 
Ask Jonathan to do the line he's going to say in my movie. Yes, sir. Oh, we certainly will. This is the line I'm going to say in his movie. Do you want me to say it now, John? Oh, oh he's gone. I'm an albino! <laughs> and okay. I haven't read the final draft of the script yet, so I have no idea what's that, what that's necessarily making reference to. Thank you for but taking But I am an albino. So. Thank you, John yeah. Cameron Mitchell. You're welcome. For, thank you very much. Bye. So long. Bye. So long. All righty. Cool.